What's up, bye? What's up, Philippines? And what's up? So let's dive into the video right away. So I believe we have already taken this up by, but we'll just do a quick review for the English version of this RFI-175 by Rusi and hope you guys like it it's a bit noisy though because some people are doing some constructions out there so please bear with me hope you can hear me clearly all right let's go so we start off with the headlamps so here as you can see we have projector type lamps now each light has two LEDs on it so one is for the low beam and then the center is the high beam all right so these are both leds then we have a position light down here if we can turn this on let me see it's not here let's try the black one there you go so led position lights all right then the headlight turns on when the engine is running all right, there's a bimodal sticker there. It's cool, right? And then we have uh, LED signal lights on here. And as you can see, there are air vents on this side. So basically this bike is air-cooled. It's powered with 175 cc air cooling system engine so that's why it's got a lot of vents out there now and then we'll take up the braking system it's called combi brake so combi brake is famous with other brands too so what it does actually is when you grab the left hand brake here so instead of just breaking the rear tire it breaks both tires so you get 100% brakes on the back and then 30% of that goes to the front tires, okay, the front brakes. So that's how combi brakes 
basically works. Tire size is 13. Uh, this is 110 70 by 13. Okay, so both tires, front and back, are 13 inches. Okay. So the rear tire is 130, 130, 70, 13. Now let's look at the engine a little bit. There you go, there's another vent there for cooling. And then the fuel injection is in here. Hope you can see that full well. Now we have the suspensions at the back. The rear suspensions are both adjustable. Like this one, I believe most of you know how to use this. So you just twist it up to make it a little bit more softer or you want it a bit harder. All right. Brakes at the back is still disc. And here you can see the airbox. The engine is here and then there's a Rusi engraved logo here. You can see the kickstarter, uh, standard, center stand. And then here we see the footrest for back rider. And then we have the standard side stand. Now the side stand also has a safety measure on it. It's got a kill switch that when you put down the side stand, it turns off the engine. So the lights here are all LED. And we also have a light here at the hood for the plate number. So that's basically it. Now RFI is also keyless. Okay, so we'll check on the keyless feature later. We'll check on the materials used first. So basically, the materials used for this scooter is perfect, I should say. It's not that cheap of a plastic. It's not just the regular stuff they use for Rusi, right? And then on your left hand here, you can find the turn signals. And then you see the horn switch. There's high beam and low beam. And then there's pass switch in here. This is pass switch. Is it lighting? No. So for the dashboard, this is how it looks. Why don't we use the other one so that we can have it start. So to turn this thing on, you need to push this lever or this switch here. Just push it down until it lights up green. So basically it only lights up when your remote is within the perimeter. So it's got a sensor here. So when you turn it on, it turns green and then you switch it on there. So that's how it looks. Okay, that is the dashboard for this scooter. So what we can find here is the battery meter. And then we have the gas gauge. There's time. There's temperature. Now this temperature is for the environment, okay? The surrounding temperature. And then you have your odometer here. And then this is your RPM. And then you have what we call the speedometer here. So both, actually there are two speedometers in this scooter. We have the analog speedometer and then we have the digital speedometer. All right, and then you turn that off. Just simply switch that off to seat and fuel. So basically when you're in this position, you can open now the seat. So just press it here, and then it pops up. Boom, that's your seat. Full face helmet doesn't really fit here, but what we normally use, and what Rusi gives you is the, the nutshell or the half face helmet. So you got a 
you got some tools here you can put on the registration here as well so that it won't get wet all right so this is also where you find the VIN or the vehicle identification number now we'll look at the gas tank so you press on fuel when this is on seat and fuel and it pops up the fuel tank right away there you go so fuel tank capacity is 9.6 liters and then yeah you can turn it off so once it's off you won't be able to control this seat and fuel knobs and of course it won't start and then you can also lock the bike just like the regular locking system so you push that up and then lock so now it's locked okay to unlock it push it again and twist so that's ignition off and then you press that again to turn it on and switch it to seat for seat and fuel and then you can push that again to turn on the bike so to start the bike once you're on just grab the brake and then start there you go so this is how it sounds now all right pretty solid right It's a really cool bike so later we'll be able to hear some of the guys you know for those who bought these scooters we'll have them talk with you guys and maybe they can share their experiences with these scooters so I'm pretty sure they like it and we're going to find that out very soon so we'll turn that off for now here we actually have uh, We have a USB charger, it's located here. I don't know if you can see that well. There you go. So you open it up, you can charge your phone there with a cable and then you can maybe put your phone here if you would. So it's cool. While you're running, while you're cruising, you can charge. So that is basically the RFI 175 2020. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, you might want to subscribe. You can check on our other videos on our channel. This is Bai Model. And you're still here with your Pambansang Bai. This is Bai Jihai. What's up, Bai? So here now with David and Arai. Of course, this is the first guy who, took, who, who got the first RFI here in town, in Dumaguete. So they're here with me now. They're going to talk about how it goes it's been three months now they're they've been using it so let's hear from them directly okay um this is my third rosy bike but the, i think this is the best bike i have which is 175 cc uh, really really comfortable to ride um, i find the bike on long trips very comfortable to go and it's very economical and it's a great bike i just really enjoy riding it so i look forward to riding it every day <laughs> so yeah what do you think dave oh uh, the same this is the first 175 i've owned in a scooter but i've had 10 rusty motorcycles all together wow but i've never lost anything on them they've always never broke down on me like this is the strongest besides the 200 i had but I ride it so smooth to ride and comfortable. My wife likes to ride on it. It's very strong. Goes up the hill no problem. And how about the comfy? Is it comfortable? Very comfortable. Very smooth riding. Comfortable. Oh, okay. The seats are nice and comfortable. Mm -hmm. And lots of space on it in the box underneath it. Right. You put a helmet on it, right? I've had six 1.5s in there. Oh, soda. <laughs> To go get a soda run, six one point five inside right. there. And then maybe you should just put more eyes on it so when you arrive it's cold. That's what I did. <laughs> oh you did really? <laughs> so which places have you been through this bike? I just 
Dumaguete, to Berlin and Omland. Because I can't go to much places right now. But I've had it up to 120. Really? Yeah. 120 kilometers per hour? Yeah, we still had more to go. Oof. On the straightaway going to Omland. Wow. Oh, talo kayo. Ano, di ba? <laughs> I thought you run it very fast, but here. We got 120 runner already, so, but of with, course. With no, no hassle. And I'm not a small guy. Mm -hmm. 120, huh? Well, because some people only top about 105, 110, stuff like that. But, well, at least now we've heard straight from the owners that they got 120 kilometers and per hour. No shakes or shimmies. Oh, really? Just no rattles? Uh, smooth. No vibrates? Because it's a big scale. It's a big scale. It's not vibrate. No, vibrate. <laughs> no well, it's not vibrate. Yes, that's what he said. <laughs> Alright, so well, thank you very much for oh, having welcome. us here. Um, David actually invited us in his house here. We're in... San Antonio, Cebulan. San Antonio. Upper Pancel. Oh, Upper Pancel, San Antonio, Cebulan. Alright, so this is their house. They just have us in. We just had some cakes with... What's your name again, ma'am? Dr. Banana Cake. Oh, Glenda. Glenda, yeah. So, Miss Glenda had us a very nice and mouth-watering chocolate banana, banana cake. cake. It's awesome, man. I wish they should build a bakery or something for that, or pastries, you know? <laughs> we would definitely buy it. So, thank you guys. Thanks to the family and thanks to everyone, to Mr. Arai as well. This guy's from London. UK, yeah, yeah right, yeah, yeah, right. and I believe he's going to start a Rusi. What do you call that? Oh, Riders Club first, and then we'll build a Rusi store. <laughs> so, I'm just fooling around, but thank you guys for having us here, and thank you for watching. This is still your Pamban Sambai and Sibai Jihai, and hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up, or you can share it, or you can subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Hit the notification bell button so that you'll be notified whenever we post a video. So again, thank you very much. And always remember, uh, di ba? Laging tandaan, ang buhay ay mahalaga. Yan. Drive safe po.